We've all heard about the tragic recent wave of kids, especially gay teenagers, who have been bullied to the point of suicide. Now, the U.S. media has finally begun to talk about bullying and teens taking their own lives, and it's become so horrible that Americans have finally begun to do what we do best, fight with each other over what should be done and never accomplish anything. Now, you got some fundamentalist Christians who say that anti-bullying laws that protect gay kids legitimize homosexuality, and that's an attack on their religion. You know, what kind of an anti-Christian bigot would keep me from being an anti-gay bigot? Then you've got your guys who say that non-stop cruelty and humiliation is just part of growing up. And besides, if kids don't learn that bullying's okay and you should displace anger onto the wrong person now, how will they ever be ready to one day join the Tea Party? Then you've got your well-intentioned liberals who want to make verbal bullying a federal crime, which is a little bit tricky when you've got the Reverend Fred Phelps and his Church of the Inbred Antichrist Rapture Freaks legally picketing military funerals screaming, God hates fags, and that's protected speech. So while the grown-ups are all debating about bullying, the bullies keep on torturing kids emotionally, both in school and online. And you know why they get away with it? Because not enough people take bullying seriously. How do you get people to take bullying seriously? I think this is step one. Stop calling it bullying. Look, I was a pale, skinny kid of child of two ex-clergy with a very ethnic last name that began with F.U. Okay, I was picked on so much, my bullies all got frequent abuser cards. If they decked my books ten times, they could break into my locker for free. Bullying is a flaccid, outdated, archaic Archie's comic term. It's quaint, it's useless, it's toothless. It's like saying, didn't De Niro bully Nick Nolte's family in Cape Fear? It doesn't do any justice to the kind of brutalizing that would drive a kid to kill him or herself. It's like calling homeless people tramps or hobos, or saying the Khmer Rouge was peevish. The word bullying dates back all the way to 1693. It's had a good run, folks, but it's time to retire it. Let's call this peer abuse, or un-American persecution, or criminal harassment. Call it anything that finally makes adults take it seriously, but stop calling it bullying. Because that sounds like what the little rascals got from Butch and Woim. I'm John Fugelsang for Grit TV, and if you don't stop saying the word bullying media, I'm going to meet you in the playground after school and break your face.